joy to the world, not joy from the world, not joy, I mean, not not, but it was not asked uh, to, <laughs> to bring this, not joy from the world, not joy in the world, joy to the world. Kindling the fire in the world. And joy comes less from our upper system. Our upper system tells us what's right, what we are meant to do, what our intentions are, which, uh, yeah, is challenging. Upper system tells us what can go wrong. And it's the lower system which has joy if it manages to bring it, huh? because that's our life forces. They are forces which can lead us to some or the other fault. But uh, if in general it wants to take up it, it, our impulses, and if this works if our lower system manages to take, to sense us, it creates joy, it feels connected. And this we want to bring or to, to the world, or not just bring to the world, but kindle in the world. Okay, may I invite you to join this adventure. Now we have somehow to arrive in the world and in order to be able to do this, we must first of all arrive at ourselves. So, I sense my center. And I look out I make a gesture toward forwards and I still try to stay connected with my center. And I let go. Breathe, do a step forward. And in this case, forward is better because we want to enter the world, this world in front of us. So, Connect with the center, feel it. Take some time for this until you feel a reaction. And then put your hands forward as if you would want to give something and return to your center. Can you again feel it without losing the strong feeling in your hands? Just let go because your hands normally want to come back to yourself, so to the, what you so strongly felt, your center, and then let go. Now breathe, because if you want to bring joy to somebody else, the main thing is that we are full of breathing elements, otherwise the person or whatever would feel under pressure. We must bring freedom, breath, rhythm to another place. So we must breathe. Last time, I connect with myself. I reach out. I feel my hands and that they want to go somewhere. And then I try, the more I feel my hands, the more I feel myself, my heart again. And just test, bring more energy into your hands. Can you, by doing this, increase the feeling of your center? And then let go. Then you know that the mechanism works, that you made it. Great. And now uh, we want to kindle something out there and we have 
been doing the seat gesture, which was left and right of ourselves. So please, uh, let's repeat this for a moment. We stand upright. We even bend now the knees a little bit that the lower system feels being round like an energy ball. We have the hands here. And then we just let the energy ball of our legs slowly come up. And, let, and this helps the fingers to lightly rise in swift movements, light circles. And then we let go. So what we try to do now is that we try to connect with this sphere. It's not just the belly, it's from the belly through the legs and the main the center of the system are the thighs, uh, that this system lets the arms rise in little circles as if we would lift feathers or invite feathers to go higher and higher. So the knees are bent, I feel my belly and slowly, step by step, I stretch my legs and make my arms rise. And I do this because in a way we must reach this system in the world in front of us, the joy system, and from there bring the joy to rise. Yeah. So now we do it more in front of us, that we have the hands in front, and try to do this uplifting C gesture out there. And to prepare this again, we just do what we did in the beginning. I have my hands in front of my heart. I sense my heart. I make a giving gesture. I'm completely in my hands. I intensify the tension in my hands and try by doing this to enhance the self-perception in my chest. It works. Great. Then it's no problem to bend the knees a little bit and now just try to do gently invite others. Come on, lift up, lift up, lift up. And then let go. And now we should not do it as I did it right now, that we lift up so much, but we want to reach the lower system and just kindle this fire so far. And the rest must be the freedom of the world out there. Otherwise, it wouldn't be enjoyable. So we just, if you have a children, a little carriage, you must give them a push, but then they must roll on themselves. So we just try to give them a little push. Yeah. So, and that's without any energy. We just lift what's there anyway. We just touch which what wants to fly. We just bend a little bit. And then, okay, come on. Rise, rise, rise. And we open up. And our heart here is connected with what's perceptible there. One more time like this, we go down, but less now. It's not necessary, it's just to connect. So we bend only two millimeters and we connect with what's in front of us. And now we try to invite and to support what's in front of us, but just halfway up. Then we let go and the rest is a connection of our heart with what we perceive coming out of what we have been doing, supporting it this way. Do it a step forward. And let's repeat, going down just a little bit in front, connect and connect with your lower system when you try to lift something. Let go and just observe with your heart that this uplifting effect continues without you uh, doing it anymore, without you pushing it anymore. 
and enjoy what you see through your heart. Okay, go back. Imagine half a circle forward and walk it just like this, not slowly, arrive and then continue half a circle going back. Circle, symbol for wisdom, symbol for fullness, symbol for fulfillment. And now let's just try without any stress and so on. Can we combine walking this circle with this uplifting movement which connects with what's in front of us, but we are not directly confronting it, we are curving around in a way. So we bend only in our fantasy, we connect with what's in front, we lift, lift, come on, come on, come on, Ah, we arrive, we continue and let go. And the further we go back, the more we connect, or we deeper even enter in what's in front of us. So we actually look behind now. We do it two more times, and then we sit down and listen to the resonance. Hey, come on, yes. And then give it free. Look through your heart and start even go behind what you see. Sense yourself and your relationship to what's out there now, what has changed. One last time to finish. My heart looks goes forward, even behind what it has been touching. Be connected with the out there and your within. Sense how you stand now, how you stand in the space and what quality the space has, or what dialogue the space wants to lead with you now. Did it like what we did? Never mind how good we did it. This does not matter. What we intended will be understood. Just breathe, sit down, carefully, without losing what we have tried, and listen to the resonance. How big is your inner space now? If you had to describe your lungs as a form, as a space, where is it more open, where is it more closed? How do you sit on your chair? How much light is around you, or how much darkness, or how much colors, and which colors, and where are they? Allow yourself to listen a little bit into your perceptions, to look around, to open your inner eyes, but then also allow to to let these perceptions dim away and just relax. Maybe you take some more time to let go and enjoy what you've been doing and experienced. <laughs>